uh, the game between Kovacevic and Gligoric and uh, <coughs> White has sacrificed the piece and now it's it's his turn um, he has a lot of interesting opportunities for example he could play something like rook g3 then the king goes to f8 then if white tries to go for mate with something like queen h7 then unfortunately the bishop is hanging and then after black takes the king just escapes to e7 and the attack is over so so white had to find something uh, to make this idea work so he played um, rook e5 and the idea is that when the rook takes on e5 um, it doesn't guard, uh, it doesn't attack the bishop on f6 anymore so now white has something like rook g3 um, king f8 and queen h7 and now the bishop is safe and the king is and the king is trapped on f8 and it's impossible to stop mate or this so after rook e5 White, uh, black played bishop e4, giving a fork. Um, and this seems to, to force the queen to move. But white found an interesting opportunity, and he sacrificed the queen for two rooks, which isn't really quite a sacrifice, but still, he gave up the queen while being down a piece. The rook e6. Um, Black took the second. Uh, Black took the queen. White got the second rook. And now it seems like the attack has um, to be very precise to be successful. So you say if he just goes um, rook h8, then the king escapes to g7, and he has two bishops covering up the uh, the king quite well. So of course he, he first has to make sure that the king does not escape through the g file. So now the white queen is gone, but the attack continues. Um, so now the threat is rook h8, of course. So black had to sacrifice a piece, um, trying to block the g file, and now he wants to play king g6 and escape. And his idea was that after. Um, after bishop g4, after white takes, uh, he thought he could play bishop f4. And uh, here, if you stop for a second, you'll see a nice um, response that white played. He played g takes h5, and now, even if black takes, there's a nice mate with only three remaining pieces. The pawn very nicely covers g6. So this must be a really nice uh, game to win against such a legend as Gligoric. Um, um, even if um, even if he doesn't fall for this trick and if he tries to play something else uh, instead of bishop of 4 white still winning say if he goes something like Queen d7, trying to attack the rook, and maybe hope for a check. No, that there is no checks, and the attack continues. So the best chance was to play bishop g7. Something like this, but here white has two pawn, two rooks, um, and two extra pawns against the queen. So this is easily winning for white because his king is also quite safe. So this is a really nice game, and the main theme of this game, I thought, was um, that the premature uh, c6, which Black played here, has caused him all kinds of troubles. He didn't have to, uh, if he played a bit more accurately, but the, as it turned out in the game, this bishop on b3 was very, very powerful, and it was putting a lot of pressure on Black's uh, position which white then increased with uh, 
queen f3 now there's also interesting pressure on the f file so this this line seems like uh, gives some nice opportunities to to white and uh, he either has attack on the king side or he has play against the d5 outpost um, and the weak d6 pawn and black has to be quite accurate to hold his position in this variation of the Zaitsev.